I woke up this morning very, very tired and actually ended up falling out of my bed because I was super excited. I was like, oh my God, I got to figure out if I hit 100,000 subs, but I actually wasn't there yet. I had to run to Social Blade and notice that I was at 99,182. Be sure to hit that subscribe button because we're the littest fishing channel on YouTube, but that's besides the fact we have to get this video on the road. And today we're going to be reviewing the $1 Rattle Trap by Ozark Parks, which is Walmart's brand, and we're going to put it to the test. But before this video even gets rolling, we have to stop by the old Parkers so that we could get the goodies, which included the Powerade Zero, a Bang Energy drink, and you know we could not forget the old protein cookie. But it is time to get on the road and go catch some big old bass. But before that even gets started, you know I had to crack the Bang Energy drink, give it a little taste test, and mm, 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 is that thing good? So now let's go ahead and get on the road and catch some fish. We are going to be putting this one dollar rattle trap from walmart to the hold up hold up hold up hold up make sure you guys stay tuned till the end of the video because i'm gonna break down why i think this lure is good why i think this lure is bad in my honest opinion and that is at the end of the video so be sure you watch this whole thing all the way through and i hope you guys enjoy all the questions are gonna be answered is it worth buying is it worth the money can the lure last can it catch fish and also is it a sexy bait well, anyways this is the rattle trap right here that we're gonna be using we're gonna put it to the test today boys we're gonna see if we can catch some fish on it i'm really excited i hope you guys are excited too if you guys have been enjoying the content recently be sure to hit that like button we are about to approach 100k subscribers either tonight or tomorrow i am so excited for it i've worked my butt off for this for like seven years now and i cannot be more thankful and we're putting in the work and it's about to happen but if you guys are new to the channel i'm noah host of kicking their bass tv be sure to hit that subscribe button there's also a little tiny bell next to the subscribe button please press that that turns on notifications because we upload three bangers every single week but anyways we're gonna hop into today's video we're gonna open this bad boy tie it on our rod and go give it a try and hopefully catch some big old bass If you guys wonder what type of knot I tie for just about everything, it's called a uni knot. I, I talk about this a lot, but I feel like there's new people watching every single time. This is by far one of the strongest knots out there, stronger than the polymer, and I highly recommend it. If you guys want to see a video on it, I actually have one on my channel. Very easy to tie, very strong knot, and it's proven stronger than the polymer, which I know 99% of you guys tie. Wet your line, cinch that bad boy tight. We're not gonna wanna lose this today. This is the only rattle trap, $1 rattle trap that we have with us. Oh man, we are good to go. Now for the paint job on this guy. Uh, it's looking pretty solid, I'm not gonna lie. That, that is a pretty sexy color. It's, it's kinda like my old standard gold trap with a black back, but it is a slight more yellow as you can tell right there on the bottom, but it does look like one of those old standard gold traps with a black back, which is actually really good. That's one of my favorite colors of, of uh, lipless crankbaits out there. Paint job really doesn't look that bad, but that's usually what happens on cheap lures is you know, the paint job, the bait really doesn't look that bad, but the, but the whole truth of the matter is one, are the hooks good? And two, how's the rattle? That, that's, that's another question right here. Let's shake this thing. All right, as you guys can tell, it's not like a one knocker. It's more of a hard knocker. It's got a lot of rattles in that bad boy. It's more like a standard rattle trap, which I'm not gonna complain. Um, if I was to pick some up, I'd usually pick up a Booyah rattle trap, which has usually like one knockers in it. It's a standard one knocker, but this is not the case with this one. But now let's test out the hooks. So you can feel your hooks all day. You can sit here and say, oh, these aren't too bad, this, this, and that. But one thing I usually do when testing out hooks is you take the point, you put it at an angle on your fingernail, and if it digs into your fingernail pretty solid, then it's a good hook. If it just slides, then it's, it's not that sharp. So, uh-oh. Yeah, look, look, this thing's sliding right on my nail. Like, like really easy, not even putting any contact in. Look at that. Yeah, not at all. So these are actually cheap hooks. These are not good hooks on this $1 trap, but guess what? We're just gonna have to go out and try it and see if it hooks a fish. Oh 
All right, so we are gonna get this started with the old $1 budget rattle trap. And I know you guys like to know, it's actually a beautiful day outside today. Um, it is a little chilly. We had a cold front actually hit last night. So it is a little chilly today. If you guys are wondering about the conditions, which I always talk about, it's, it's very cloudy outside. These fish should be roaming. I, I don't know if they're gonna be biting good just because of this little cold spike. It wasn't like a serious, serious serious like insane cold spike but i'm gonna tell you one thing the temperature has dropped a lot i thought i just had a bite so i don't know what to really expect of the fishing today one thing about this rattle trap is obviously the weight of it it's not quite half ounce on the package it said like seven sixteenths um but bang i can cast this thing pretty far not gonna lie it feels pretty good i'm not not gonna complain quite yet not gonna lie feels pretty solid when reeling this thing through the water the rattles are jittering all over the place and for what i see so far and what i've noticed with some of the kvd rattle traps the striking red eye shads is that they go sideways i got one holy crap i got one he's small that is awesome he hammered that thing baby let's go get the monkey off her back today he's not big at all but heck for her first her first dollar trap right here first little dollar trap fish I guess it does catch fish. That's already answered within the first 30 seconds. But what I was getting to, and that's good to get the monkey off her back, is that with the Strike King traps, they tend to go sideways on me for some reason. Um, once you use them for a little bit, they start going sideways, and it's just super hard to even throw it anymore. And for this one, it's going pretty straight. I'm not having any problems with the dodging from left to right. It seems pretty good so far, but we're just gonna continue the fish. Hopefully catch some more fish around here. See if we can give an honest review on this lure. I knew he hit me. Oh, he came off. That was a good one. Dang, man. Dang, dang, dang. Dang, dang, dang. Fish is about two and a half pounds. Not a bad one at all. What the heck am I doing now? He like hit me sideways for a minute there. It was really soft and then he finally loaded up on it. But well, that's, let's, let's do a little uh, lost fish count on these hooks right here. Cause I already know that they're not good hooks. Looks like there's a bed right there. So that's one fish that we lost on this. If it was another rattle trap, I believe he would have stayed hooked. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. another two pounder yep that's what i was expecting with these hooks to be completely fair with you guys that's the thing you got to watch out i just caught him right under that dock that was a decent little guy uh so fish counter or fish loss counter two already only caught one little dink we lost two decent fish and i'm kind of worried if i hook a good one i'm actually kind of scared i was going to take this to a big fish pond but i mean screw it we're going to do it anyways but <laughs> i'm kind of freaking worried i don't want to sit here and lose a gigantic fish Whew. how have we not had a bite back here yet Oh, ooh, 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 what is going on? There he is. Yep, yep. Here, I got him in the side. I cannot tell. Oh yeah, let's go, let's go. All right, so I will give this lure the benefit of the doubt on this situation. These fish are biting it really soft. <laughs> I've never had a fish just sit here and try to eat a rattle trap for probably like 30 straight seconds, but a beautiful pound and a half bass right there nothing bad at all and uh, i was just sitting there reeling it in the reason why i'm saying you know i'm gonna give that trap a little bit of leeway is because these fish are barely eating it so you know even if i lose some it might not be because of the hook just because they're not eating it but what a little beautiful fish right there 
There he is, little beautiful guy. Little fat dude, look at the little tummy on him. Thank you for biting, buddy. There he goes. I think we deserve a little halftime break, but what I was saying is we've caught two fish on the trap, we've lost two fish. So our odds right here are 50-50 if we get a bite. Um, as of now, I do think the hooks are horrible. I, I am gonna say that, but at the same time, the fish aren't biting. So there's a little, there's a little weird deal going on, but we're gonna continue to throw in this little pocket. I know there's a lot of fish scattered around here, um, and there should be a toad somewhere in here, even though I'm kind of scared to hook them, but let's keep on casting. There he is. Oh God, that's a decent one right there. That's not a decent one, what the heck am I saying? I thought he was like a two pounder, but no. His colors are amazing on this fish though. He stayed on, that's why I was huffing him in because I was like, please don't come off, man. <laughs> please don't come off. So <laughs> we caught three fish now, two fish came off, but look at the colors on that beautiful bass. Holy cow, that's amazing right there. Oh man, that was a pretty fish. Alrighty, we're getting somewhere now. Starting to get some catches, starting to catch some fish. Three fish catches, two came off, five bites overall. And we're still casting away. What in the, <laughs> okay. Okay. That's our fifth fish. The hook actually got the little one good. Freaking slaunches, boys. So we just finished up at the first pond. We caught five fish. We had two come off, which I really believe is because of the hooks. Like I said, it could be because they're biting a little finicky, but I do believe it's because of the hooks. We're about to go to our second pond now, and this place has some gigantic fish. And that is just a fact. I mean, there's a big chance we could catch a double digit right now. I'm being really ballsy with how crappy these hooks are. And I could also lose this crankbait here because there's a lot of rocks. So there's a lot of losses to this place, but if we catch one, it's gonna be big. And we're gonna give it a try. I mean, it. who knows, you know, it can happen. It can happen any moment. So, you know, one cast away from a straight eight to 10 pounder on a $1 trap. I think we're gonna have to try it. So let's go ahead and get out there and try to catch a slaunch. So after casting like a hundred times, I realized my camera was not on, first of all, and look, at the freaking bass I just caught. This is a perfect pet bass is what this is. Look how small this guy is. That is, that is the cutest little bass I've ever seen in my life. That is a pet right there. He needs to grow up before he eats something like that. There he is. Golly, these fish fight. <laughs> They're not big, but they fight. Oop. <laughs> he threw the hook and I hooked him in the hooked him in the tail. Tony, these hooks are booty guys. They're they're absolute booty cheeks. I'm not talking bad about the bait, but the, the hooks are just booty. There he is, right off that pipe. Why do these fish fight so hard? Did not get it. Oop, there he is. <laughs> I guess the good thing about the cheap hooks is that the fish just come off, you don't even gotta touch them. Oh my God, I had another one now. <laughs> right, right there, right away. There he is. Oh my God. These hooks, I swear. <laughs> Holy crap. Come on, fish. Eat it legit. Eat it all the way. <laughs> so stupid, man. So stupid. 
These hooks are horrible. I threw. <laughs> what? The... What is going on? I literally threw five casts and have five bites. <laughs> this is crazy. This is actually crazy. I literally just kept throwing and kept getting hit every single time. <laughs> if the hooks weren't bad, I probably would have had five fish right there. Guess I'll throw again. <gasps> I got a big one. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy. <gasps> Guys, that was like a six pounder. That was literally a six pounder. I knew that was going to happen today. I'm pissed, but I'm just so astounded. Like, I, I, I'm so mind blown right now. I've thrown like seven casts right here and had seven bites. That fish might have been over six. I'm not going to lie. That fish might have been over six. Are you freaking kidding me? I cannot believe how many bites I've had right here, too. That was all the hooks right there, guys. That, that was literally all that. I threw in there and I clicked my reel and he already had it in his mouth. I just. Leaned to the side and I felt this big head wobble and he came to the top and I'm like, oh man, there ain't no way. There ain't no way. Oh, the best thing we can do is just keep fishing, guys. I I can't believe I just had that many bites right here. That was like every cast, just boom, 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 boom. And I just lost another one. Yeah, these hooks are booty, man. I cannot believe I just lost a huge one. I had a feeling like that was just going to happen today. That's why I was scared to go to that one pond, but... Oh, that just hurts man when you when you lose a fish that big and i feel like i haven't caught like a big one in a in a, in a little bit i mean i've caught i mean i actually caught four yesterday but not like over six type deal that that just hurts man that really hurts i just can't believe how all that laid out it was like every cast we we're getting bites every cast every cast every cast we're laughing about it and all of a sudden i throw in there click my reel and i have a six pounder on my line and he just spits it like that right at the bank. He paused for a minute too. I saw him right in front of me and I, I tried, he was like stunned for a second. I tried to grab him or get down by him. It just didn't happen. Oh, guess all we can do is just keep casting and just <laughs> pray that we can get another big bite. Nothing you can do from something like that. So I've actually never been to this place. I've never been to this pond right here. We're gonna try it. I don't even know if there's fish in here, but let's see if there is some fish in here. Maybe we can have a new little spot to fish at. Right here towards the mouth. Yep. Oh man, is that a good one? I can't tell. He's running. He is running. There's fish in here. <laughs> oh yeah. Dang, man. Nothing big. There is fish in here. And he's right, I literally caught it right there by the mouth. Just looked too good. A little fatty, golly, look at that guy. There's a little stubby one. Nothing big, but man, there's fish in here. Heck yeah, I'm excited. Oh, <laughs> there we go. Oh my God, what the heck? Oh, he's not big. Oh my gosh, heck yeah. This trap is killing it, to be honest with you guys, and they're just straight fatties. The way he whistled my rod really scared me right there. <laughs> Look at the fat stomach. Oh man, I'm about to fall in. Look at the fat stomach on all these guys. Just a little pretty fish. Nothing big, man. I'm, I'm still hunting for that big one. I know they're around. What in the fr Oh my gosh. Let me catch a little sunfish. <laughs> I guess there was a fish back in this corner. Guys, we're just catching everything on this $1 trap. So far, it's been worth the money. I'm not going to lie. We caught over 10 fish on this thing. I think 10 fish is worth a dollar to me. 
There he is. Yep. I knew he was in there. Made too much sense. These things are fighting hard. I can tell you that. He's the first one who ate it decent. God, he choked that trouble. Good thing I brought my pliers. There we go. A little fat little guy. Fat man in the back of this corner. Look at that pretty fish. God, they are just munching this thing, guys. So I have a list of questions right here that we're gonna answer to let you guys know if you guys should buy this $1 trap. So the first question is, subscribe to Kicking Their Bass. I'm just kidding, that is not the first question, but the first question is, but you should subscribe to Kicking Their Bass TV. We're the latest fishing channel on YouTube, and I don't know if you guys you know, have subscribed already. If you guys haven't, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post three bangers every single week. But anyways, the first question is, is the rattle trap worth it? Is it worth the solid $1 that you guys work hard for? And my simple answer to that question is no, but let me explain why. So does the bait look sexy? That's another question. Does the bait look sexy? Yes, the bait does look sexy. The color I think is pretty good. You know, it's not like a perfect gold with a black back, but it does put off that, you know, sexy profile that I like when I'm throwing a rattle trap. So I do think it's a pretty sexy bait. Number two, can it hook fish? Hell no. This bait cannot hook fish. The hooks are garbage, and I and I did listen. The bait I think is all right. I think it's I think it's pretty decent. You know, if, if you're going out there throwing the trap, I think it's a sexy bait. I think it's a decent bait. The rattles are good. This, this, and that. But the hooks are just absolute trash, guys. And that is just the truth. Um, I kind of called that from the beginning. You know, I showed you guys on my fingernail how you know it carves in there, and the hooks are just not good. That is the end of the story right there. The hooks are horrible. So that leads to the you know end result question: Is this trap worth the money? And obviously it's just a dollar, you know, obviously I'd, I'd say yes, it's worth the money, but if you're going to buy this trap, in my opinion, you're going to have to replace the hooks. If you don't, you're going to lose big fish just like I did today. Once you end up buying the trap and buying the hooks, you might as well just go buy another trap because it's going to save you the time of putting the hooks on. At the end of the day, it's going to be around the same amount of money. And I just don't think it's worth it in my opinion. But the trap for a dollar, I really don't think you can go wrong, but the hooks are just horrible. So if you buy it, you need to replace the hooks, and I'm gonna tell you that now. But if you guys enjoyed this video and you guys wanna see some more $1 reviews like this, be sure to hit that subscribe button and also hit the like button as well. If you guys haven't already, be sure to hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button because we upload three bangers every single week and you guys wanna make sure you're notified. We also upload some killer giveaways and we'll be doing some more soon. But thank you guys so much for the support. I love you guys so much. Be sure to follow the rules Just on this list right out. here and I will catch you guys yeah. in the next episode.